Alright, so the best thing that happened in 2016 to me was probably getting back together with my current boyfriend, um, which was probably, you know, the best thing that's happened to me because it's the best relationship I've been in and, yeah. Um... The worst thing that happened in 2016 was probably the Pulse shooting in Orlando. Um, I'll never forget, you know, just hearing that on the news and everything. And it was just such a horrible time for everyone, for our community, for the whole town, for the whole country and the gay community. It was just horrible. Um, school this year is going pretty good. Um, I mean, it has its ups and downs, you know, with people, here, friends, drama. But, you know, it's senior year, so, you know, I stay out of that. And pretty much the only thing on my mind is graduation. <laughs> so, yeah, just literally two more months and I'm on my way. Um, Christmas was amazing, and something that happened to me that was actually a good thing, um, was it was the first Christmas I spent with my boyfriend, and it was just, it was amazing, just getting to, like, open gifts with him and spend time with him and our family, and it was just such a great time. Um... What did I do New Year's Eve? <laughs> oh yeah, we just, New Year's Eve just kinda hung out here, honestly. Me and my boyfriend and my family and everything. We really like went on my roof and we like watched these fireworks that were in my neighborhood, but it was like a front row show, honestly. <laughs> and of course, you know, we get drunk it's a given and yeah we were supposed to drive out to the beach and everything and party but we just decided last minute that probably wasn't a good idea to go and it ended up being a great idea that we didn't go long story short so <laughs> um the best song of 2016 was oh god I really can't pick a best song, honestly. I'm not even the best song kind of person. I just... I listen to music and I... I just love it. Um, music just get It just gets old to me so fast. Like, I love it for like a week and then I just... Um, the best movie of 2016? Uh... I have to say, Don't Breathe. That one was pretty, pretty crazy. It was just intense. I remember I saw it like three different times in theaters. Um, my plans for 2017. Well, I plan to graduate high school in May and then have the summer off and, you know, I mean, just have fun over summer, of course, because, you know, like the last summer before things really get serious, and then I plan to go to college for two years, and then do the direct connect to UCF for another two years, getting my bachelor's in nursing, and yeah, just starting my life. Can't wait. I'm pretty tired right now. But yeah. <laughs> uh. Um, what, where do you think you'll be in fall of 2000, oh, well, college, um, I will be at Seminole State College in Lake Mary slash Stanford in the fall, you know, um, and starting nursing and taking all my, like, prereq classes and, um, the 
what's going to be the hardest thing to do between now and the end of school? Honestly, just showing up. <laughs> Honestly, it's just so hard to get up in the morning. Like, two, mo two more months. That's, you know, <sighs> almost spring break. And then hopefully after the break, then, you know, I'll be able to, to like, get myself in gear and just, say whatever just go like it's just so hard to get up for school when you know like when you know <laughs> you're almost there like you're almost to the finish line but yeah so bye my favorite memory in the DNM class this year was probably when Ivan he doesn't go here anymore but he was talking to us and <laughs> he had like I guess a fake tooth right here and nobody really knew and then he was just kind of chewing on something and he bit into it and yeah his tooth just kind of came out and we all didn't know that it was fake but it was pretty funny. <laughs> My favorite memory at this school was Friday night football lights and being a senior cheering on in the student section. All right, so here is my final spotlight or video diary questions since I'm a senior. Um, the plans I have for next year are to be attending Seminole State College um, and working on getting my AA degree so that way I can switch over to UCF for the second two years. And I'm going to be hopefully in the nursing program. I'm really excited for that. Um... And just working a lot, you know, saving a lot of money. So, the hardest thing about the last four years. Actually, probably the hardest thing was coming to school. Because it is so hard to get your ass up every morning at like, what What was it? Before I had senior privilege, it was like, I had to get up at like, 5.50 or like even earlier when I was a freshman because you know freshmen they love to <laughs> get all ready and stuff and um yeah but yeah probably just coming to school that was hard the advice I have for underclassmen don't slack off your freshman year or uh, if you've already slacked off that sucks <laughs> just Keep doing well because, I mean, freshman year, just, you know, you have to get your grades up. Just promise, like, I don't know how to say this right now, but, like, that's your most important year. I mean, obviously, your junior year is super important, but, like, freshman year is, like, the base. Like, it sets the whole rest of your high school career, you know? So, I would just... So you not slack off your freshman year. And if you're not a freshman, then just keep doing well or do better than you are. Um, the most memorable moment from high school. Probably homecoming and prom. Freshman year homecoming was just so fun. <laughs> because when you're a freshman, like you don't really do things like that. You don't really go out to parties or anything. You just come out of middle school and I it was just I just remember that being, like, the funnest night of my life. Like, when I was in a freshman, I was like, oh, my God, like, this is so fun. <laughs> and prom, prom was so much fun. I'm so glad I went, honestly. <laughs> I have no regrets. So, I really have no regrets of high school. I mean, I do have some, but, okay, we'll keep going. <laughs> Something I learned in high school that I didn't learn in the classroom. Uh... Stay away from drama. It's just not worth it. <laughs> like, it's just not worth it. Like, you have so many other things to focus on. Like, focus on your school. Focus on bettering yourself. Don't worry about the drama that other girls try to put you in. Like, it's just unnecessary. And just stresses you out. Like, you don't need that in high school. <laughs> and high school boys ain't shit, by the way. So, just saying... Um, 
What am I gonna miss about high school? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I'm gonna miss my friends. Obviously, it's gonna be hard leaving everybody. Like, I mean, you grew up with these kids since you were little, so. But I'm gonna miss like everything being set out for me, like a plan. Like you know, you have to get up and go to school every day. But like after high school, it's like. What do I do now? I mean, obviously college, but it's like nothing's set in stone. Nothing's already planned for you. So the stupidest thing I did in high school was probably get involved in drama again. Like it's just not worth it. And it's really stupid. I mean, I did a lot of stupid things in high school. <laughs> that, mm, God, I did a lot of stupid things. <laughs> oh god um if I could go back and change anything that happened in high school it would be hmm I gotta think about this one if I could go back and change anything probably not slacking off my freshman year because I, w I mostly was getting C's and B's I mean that's not horrible but like, you know, you should be getting, like, mostly A's your freshman year. Because it's the easiest year. And it, it's, like, it sets the whole next three years for you. So, I mean, I spent the rest of my three years really trying to get my GPA up. So that I could look good on my college apps. And I wish I wouldn't have done that. I wish I would have made freshman year super, like, easy. Got all good grades. So the rest of my years could have been just... A breeze and I didn't have to work so hard but of course that's not me I procrastinate <laughs> I can't change that um the teacher I will remember the most and why scale because he is just so funny like he's just so unique like there's not another teacher like him literally he's just hilarious honestly just the jokes that he makes and the sounds that he makes <laughs> I'm so glad that I picked him and his class my uh, junior year and finally to be in Dana because it's just so fun. Like, he's hilarious. He just, if you're having a bad day, he makes you smile. <laughs> um, where do I think I'll be in 10 years? I hope in 10 years I'll be done with college. Obviously, I'll be, what, 27, 28, and I'll be in the nursing program, hopefully, working my way up to be a nurse anesthetist, making bank, <laughs> and I hope I'm married to the guy of my dreams, and I hope I have a beautiful family, and I just hope, I hope, I think my life will be great, <laughs> so, yeah, as I get ready for my 10-year high school reunion, it's weird to say. Uh, can I answer? What is one thing Scahill said or did in my CNN class? Um, he's just so funny. Like he will make the weirdest noises. Like his la he does this one laugh that is just so funny. He'll, he'll it's like a sarcastic, loud laugh, and I can't really do it because that would be a little weird. <laughs> but only he can do it. And anyone else, if they're watching this, I don't know. They know what I'm talking about. <laughs> It's hilarious. It's just one thing that is funny. Who do I want to thank? Hmm. I would like to thank Mr. Mellon um, for teaching psychology and getting me so interested into the brain and just the way the human body thinks and works, it's just so amazing. And the way he taught it was just, you always wanted to go to class to learn more. Like, it was just so interesting to me. And he's a big part of the reason why I want to go into nursing and study more about the brain and the human body. I just think it's so fascinating. So I really would like to thank him for making that class so interesting. And he was just all around a great teacher, just a funny guy, hilarious.
I want people to remember me as not just the basic white girl who had her one click of friends and that, you know, you know how high school typical stereotypes are. Um, I want people to remember me as someone that was down to earth and someone that they could count on always, someone that they could um, trust with their secrets or anything that they, you know, wanted to keep from other people because I don't, I wouldn't tell people secrets, it's just not me. Um, someone that people just know that they could count on, they could, they could come to, and I want people to remember me as the girl that always liked to make people laugh, like, that's my specialty, ever since I was little, like, just love making people laugh, it's, and not just the girl with the resting bitch face, is I mean, I have that, can't help it. But, yeah, these are my questions, are my final questions. Can't wait to graduate. I got, yeah, I'm doing this now, might as well. I got locked out from my second period or something like that, doesn't matter. So I'm gonna answer a question. One in the background. Chime in, say like, do a funny joke. That's not the way I remember it. <laughs> I, I don't know, whatever. Most memorable moment. Um, one thing that I will always remember was the day that we just sat in Scahill's office, um, and looked up funny porn parody names. I think I said that in my, like, last year's one, or the year before that, but there were some pretty good ones. Like, um, yeah, Raiders of the Lost Arts, um, Edward Penis Hands, um, uh, Shaving Ryan's Privates, that one was my favorite. <laughs> Missionary position impossible. There's so many more. I can't remember them. Hung Winkenstein. Right. Geniuses. The heart can be deceiving when your blood runs so cold. Oh, take a little bit of what you're feeling. Now I am in the student parking lot. Yeah. Just left the in class. And this is the story, my favorite AHS memory, which is the time I had, I fornicated in the school parking lot. Um, pretty straightforward. It's after a water polo game with my girlfriend, and it was not in this car. This is my new car. It wasn't in the car before that, it was in the car before that, which was Steven's old car. Um, and it wasn't even in this parking lot. But I don't want to go to the ninth grade center because that's just so much effort. So yeah, it was the ninth grade center parking lot um, at night, and it it was so weird. Um, yeah, we just totally just banged in the car and then on top of the car and outside, and that will forever be burned in my mind because memories. Good. Yeah. I'm doing my video diary, or at least one of the questions. Yeah. All right, one of the questions, yeah. The question is, what was the funniest thing that happened from DNN? And one of the things that I remember the most is uh, one of the Thanksgiving food dinners we had. Uh, my brother Steven got whipped cream on his finger. And Gavin licked it off. Or was it the other way around? Um, I think it was Steven that licked it off of Gavin's finger. Yeah? yeah? Or, I don't know. Let's go find out. Stay Hill! What? Did Gavin lick whipped cream off of Steven's finger? Or did Steven lick, lick whipped cream off of Gavin's finger? Yeah, Steven. 
Oh, Gabba would have never looked bigger. That was stupid. Okay. Oh. Uh, Wayne is the only one that can degrade himself. Oh, you can't have a wonder. That's a Wayland after. It's a Wayland after. Thank you. There it is. completely not completely giving up on school when I really probably could have because it's so lame it's so bad um, I would also like to thank my mom for not making or not letting me give up on myself in school because she would have been very angry um, I'd like to thank Jerry Russell even though He's kind of a bitch sometimes, but he taught me a lot of stuff. A lot of, he, I mean, I didn't really pass too many of his AP exams, but he like taught me how to learn and how to deal with very opinionated teachers. So that's pretty good. Um, I would also like to thank, obviously, you, Mr. Thomas Scahill. Um, just cause, you were always the really, really chill teacher, and not like a total pushover, because you would still yell at us for everything, but you just, you knew what it was like being a student, unlike every other teacher who just is stuck in their old ways. I mean, sure, you're, you're still an old fogey, and you don't know all of our hip lingo terms, but you definitely knew what we were going through. So if we actually like had a serious, serious problem, then you could actually offer advice and guidance. Just throughout high school, you gave me advice and guidance. And obviously when we were uh, around other people, I would act like an idiot and just be totally out there. And then you would, you know, put me in my place and say some rude remarks to make me feel bad, um, but then whenever it was just, you know, like, you and me chilling or something like that, and we just had serious good talks and just, we'd still laugh a lot and still make fun of each other, but it was just, like, I like, I like the whole situation we had. I guess you had that with the majority of the Whalen brothers, too, but that's cool. Um, anyone else? I guess all of my minor teachers, I don't really care about that much, but, I mean, they helped. I don't have any, the only problem with the teacher I have is, uh, Mr. Peters. I do not like that man anymore. He called me out when I said I was a bad student, and I was not, I mean, he was right, but not cool, man. Um, and Miss Vija. My Spanish teacher was super duper mean. Um, so both of you suck it. Everyone else, cool. One thing that Sky Hill did or said is that I will always remember. Hey, let's go. Sky Hill would, um, this is my video. You're ruining it. <laughs> Skeho would insult me by calling me gay, but then also insult me by not calling me gay. It doesn't really make sense. Stop. Stop this. Because <laughs> he would say one time that, oh, how I'm gay, and in a comedic manner, and then he would say like, oh, the gays don't want me. I'm gay. So it's insulting both ways. I will always remember that Skeho. I'll never forget. Okay, really quickly, uh, I lost a footage thing. 
so I have to answer a question, but I don't remember what the question was. So all I'm gonna say is, um, I tried. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So basically, what happened was I deleted a thing by accident because it wasn't it wasn't working. It was one of the questions, but I don't remember what question it was. So what do you have to say? Oh my God, they will. What? What does Natty want? Can I say it? Can I say it, please? Yeah, go. Fuck you, Natty! Nice. Nice. <laughs> hey, guys. I don't remember that. <clears throat> it's from the perspective of. Nice. Come on. Get the beeper. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Oh. Where's the chocolate? <laughs> Dude, this winner's cat! is how would I like to be remembered? How would I like to be remembered? With a glorious statue made of gold with me going and strike some cool pose like that um, in the courtyard. Is that gonna happen? Absolutely not. You know what is going to happen though? How I will be remembered, not how I wish to be remembered. I will be remembered for some, by some teachers and some students as David Whalen, you know, the goofy little outgoing weirdo who's pretty funny and decently good looking. Um, to other teachers and other students, I'll be just another Whalen. Um, but bottom line is, in about five years, except for my close group of friends, I'm not going to be remembered. Now... People could look at a yearbook, because I'm I'm in that a, a little bit, and they're like, oh yeah, David Whalen, he was he was funny, he was cool. And that's gonna be it. Because when you think about how each there's so many people, and especially in like a decently sized school like a popka, no matter how popular you were you're still just a tiny speck in someone's life for the most part I mean of course there's gonna be some friends that you make and you guys are gonna they're gonna be good friends till the day they die and they will always remember each other but the majority of people like I don't know a lot of people in the senior class I don't know who they are I mean I don't know whether they know me or not but I don't know them and I'm not going to see them on the streets and be like, oh yeah, I remember you, because I don't. I don't remember them now, I won't remember them in 10 years, but that sounds a little morbid and sad, because no one's going to ever remember anyone eventually, um, but that goes back to my philosophy, which is living for the now. I mean, sure, it's great to do something cool and be remembered, but it's all about, at this point in time, what would you like to do? And that's why I'm kind of okay with 
the fact that I wasn't such an outgoing, like, partier or cool kid in, during my high school years, because I don't need that. I, I don't, that's not what I wanted. I, I mean, I'd make more friends and I would have been remembered more if I went out to all the parties and I stayed out late and I did all the cool things, but that's just not what I wanted to do. So, I enjoy living for the now and doing what I want instead of just, you know, trying to fit in the status quo and be remembered. Ethan wasn't there! Ethan, move. Well, that wasn't quite the point I was trying to make. Well, this is the story about the time Gavin raped me. <laughs> Alex was there, he remembers. Okay, so, I'm, I'll tell the story, hold on! Alright, so, what had happened was, um, I can't remember who, someone showed me a video of an Apopka fight, two black chicks going at it, shirts got ripped off, it was trashy, it was bad. Yeah, but not like the good kind, I know, but, whatever. So anyway, um, This is filming you! Yeah! Oh, okay. I saw that, and I was like, black people as a joke but then Gavin just goes what <laughs> and shows his like middle finger up my ass like I had jeans on but it still went in there and then just like lifted me off the ground with my finger with his finger in my ass and I'm just like Ugh! and I did not talk to him for two weeks <laughs> yeah I was so pissed off I'm trying to get my oh, oh okay um how about I don't know how to do that whatever oh. And it was really funny. <laughs> it's a right bike. Man, that was a traumatic experience for me. It was right here. It was it was bad. It was so unexpected. Yeah, rape tends to be that way. <laughs> Gavin, I don't Gavin wasn't mad. Huh? Yeah, I think he was a little upset. Why else would he Force that on me. Gavin's black. Oh, Gavin big. You know, Gavin is black. the biggest Gavin black man you'll ever yeah. meet. Yeah. About six foot. Well, <laughs> Can I say it? Can I say it, please? Yeah, go. Fuck you, Maddie! Nice. Nice. Hi, my name is James Riley, and this is my video diary. My most favorite spot in a DNA classroom has to. I got a message. I don't want to reply to your message. But anyway, the most memorable moments I have in a DNA classroom is pretty much everywhere in that classroom. Why? I'll give you some clips, some video compilation clips. Hi, my name is Daniel, and I would like to try out for the talent show. Because after that, we find out who gets homecoming king. I am so excited. My act is me and my trained dog, Waldo. Bark, bark, <laughs> bark. Waldo, sit up. Waldo, roll over. <laughs> Waldo, play dead. Waldo, catch this in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> bark, bark. Gross. Waldo, shut up. <laughs> oh, oh my god! Ow, oh, I can't move. That is not true. I know. Good dog. Hope you make it. Why? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. See if I can turn Why, it over. Why are you going to turn over? Listen, drive them this way then. You might as well do the floor if they never. Ah. Uh, so we can get you over here. Yeah, yeah. We're going to Y'all see a dirty area at all? Point Gomez towards it. Yeah, there you go. Okay. You wanna hey. Yo. You wanna watch this way? Look at me! Do it! You want me to do it? Yes, do it. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> Here. He's still moving. He's no, that's a dirty <laughs> Okay. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, that's pretty much why 
Everywhere in that classroom has to be my favorite. What was the best thing that happened in 2017? Let's see. I think this whole school year has been great, mostly, like, because it's just, it's just been better than all my other previous years, and it, it, it just, it just feels good, you know? It feels good. It feels good. What was the worst thing that happened in 2016, 17? In 2016, I'd have to say it was definitely the passing of my mother. She was battling cancer for, like, six years. And September was the month she could not continue fighting. It was very sad at the time, yes, definitely. And I've definitely gotten over that because I know she's at peace and I know she's, she's not suffering anymore. How was school going this year? Bad or good? Good. I already mentioned before, but this year has definitely, definitely been good. Yes. I have to say. Yes. Very much. How are, how are my Christmas holidays? And what was one good thing that happened to you that was a good thing? Um, my Christmas holidays, my Christmas holidays were pretty good. Yes, yes. What did I do for prom? Nothing. Nothing at all. What was the best movie in 2016? Warcraft. Based off my favorite game, World of Warcraft. I want to go play it now. But I must finish. I wonder how World of Warcraft will be five years from now. I wonder. I wonder. What plans do you have for 2017? I do know, but it's kind of a TBA, TBD. But I am planning to go to Orlando Tech and study game design. And probably not, okay, probably not right after high school because uh, I don't really know. But how would I sum up my high school experience overall? Overall, as in all four years. Ninth grade, it felt like really blurry. Kind of like, I honestly... Thinking about it, it's just like, oh my god. How? Eh. I hope you get what I'm saying, but like, ninth grade just seemed like... How, how did I go through that? Like, god, ninth grade year is just so nasty when I think about it. Because, like, I'm a senior now and everything. Oh, goodness. But tenth grade... Tenth grade wasn't bad, but it... it certainly wasn't the greatest. It was definitely a step up from ninth grade because I got a lot more better teachers. Some were a lot more friendly. Uh, tenth grade was good. Eleventh grade? I don't really know about that one. I thought eleventh grade was fine. Uh, let's see. Um, I did not like my seventh period, that was for sure. That was stupid town. Uh, 12th grade, I like I said, is probably the best because it's senior year and it's and especially since it's so close to the end of the school year, it's just like you know it's it's but anyway, like what advice do you, do I have for underclassmen? Definitely, definitely, what I have to say for that is. Do whatever you can to maintain a 2.0 GPA. That being said, maintain a 2.0 GPA, but don't fail other classes. That being said, you can... Don't have an F in the class. You can have... Tr I'm not suggesting that you should have Ds, but if you have a D, multiple Ds, make sure they at least add up to a 2.0. Try not to have any Fs, because if you fail that class... 
you're probably going to have to make that up somehow. And uh, the program to do that is basically, uh, what, what's the, I don't know, but it's credit recovery. You have to do it on uh, this program called Edge Nudy. And I had to do it because I failed two of my classes. I, I regret that. And I think that's one of the questions on here somewhere, but that's one of the things I regret. But, yeah. Um, but, yeah, just like I said, just just try doing that. Um, uh, what was my most memorable moment? Uh, I got another message. But my most memorable moment was probably... I don't want to say this, but, like, it was everything. I, everything was memorable to me, because it was so different. It was, you know, high school, it was a, it was a different, it's, a, it's different. It's, I'd say, that's probably no. What am I going to miss about high school? <sighs> Mr. Scahill's class? My friends, even though I'll probably still keep in contact with them. And, less school. In general. Because I like going to school so I can see friends and all the teachers that I like. Oh, and teachers. And teachers, yeah. yeah. And the school lunch. That's the best part. I'm joking. Screw that. What was the stupidest thing I did in high school? I think that was the other question. Uh, failed two classes. Had to make them up on FLVS. In Edgenuity. I shouldn't say too much about FLVS because you do have to do FLVS anyway in order to graduate this freaking lens flare man god get out of my eyeballs i got a solution boom now it got really dark anyway that was the stupidest thing um if i can go back and change anything that happened in high school what would it be and why pass my two classes and probably go to all the um senior or like senior events and other events before that and stuff just because I wanted to do some of the senior events, some of the senior events I wasn't able to do, especially senior prom, senior homecoming, all that stuff. Who is the teacher, teachers you remember the most and why? Mr. Scahill, Mr. Rosenau, and Mr. Blevins. Mr. Blevins is a, is a sweetheart, man. Oh, God, Mr. Blevins. <laughs> I'll miss that, man. He was so nice. He was so cool. Uh Hello and welcome back to the game show, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? I'm your host, James Riley, and this is our contestant, Mr. Blevins. What is your name and what do you teach? My name is Brian Blevins and I teach economics and AP Capstone. How many years have you been teaching at Apopka High School? I've been at Apopka High School for 15 years. <laughs> What advice do you have for students at AHS? Start saving money now. Pay yourself first, then take care of your expenses, and if money and money's left over, that's when you do the recreational fun stuff. Mr. Clemens, you just won a million dollars! Yes! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> and that concludes this episode of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? I'm your host, James Riley. Join me next time. Mr. Rosenau, he's he's like a me. He's like a me. You know, he plays he plays World of Warcraft. He he's cool, he's funny, he's and he always kicks my butt in the hearthstone. I never win. I always lose. Hearthstone is a strategy game. Uh and then Mr. Scale Boy, oh boy, he's... <laughs> Man, I, I think I'll miss him the most. Especially since he's leaving in two years. But he's funny, he's cool, he always makes you laugh. And he gave me a free donut when I told him all the things of why I liked about him. He's the only class I look forward to during the day as well. Um, ch -ch -ch. Where will I be in ten years when roughly around the time of my high school reunion... Probably making games. Probably. Doing some YouTube. Probably some filming stuff if the games aren't not going to work. Um, 
What was your most memorable moment from the DNN DNN class? <laughs> uh, I'll show the. I already did the compilation clip, so go back and look at all that. But probably licking the whipped cream off the finger, and any anything that had to do with David and Alex. Oh my. What was the funniest thing that happened in the Why do you keep repeating essentially the same questions? Those are kind of the same, essentially. What was the one thing Scahill said and did in the Dean class that you'll remember the most? Probably when he supplied voice acting for my video. And I believe... No. His... Oh, wait, no, don't care. His... <laughs> his sarc... His sarcastic and grouchy behavior towards and <laughs> all the jokes he made about freaking David <laughs> and Hutch. Oh man. <laughs> Who do you want to thank? Everybody. All my friends. All my friends and all the teachers who made my high school year the greatest. Kudos to all of you. Love you all. I love you all. I'll miss you all too. Wow. Well, that's the end of my video diary, sadly, but it, it had to come to an end. Alright, good morning, new and recurrent blue darters. Today, I have a bit of advice to give you to get you started on your first week. And that is to... Be on time. For being on time. For getting to class on time. To be on time. On getting to class on time. So if you have been getting to class on time, you have the privilege to getting to class on time. For being on time. Every class, every day, be on time. For being on time. Because you need to be punctual. All right? Be punctual to class. So be punctual. Getting to class on time. Be sure you are punctual getting to class on time. Punctuality. Be on time. That's it for me. Well, no, no, one more thing. Be on time, be on time, and be on time. Yeah! I know we all got friends out there that we can call our brothers. I know I do. I just want to let all my brothers know out there that I love y'all. And I got y'all whenever y'all need me because I know you got me too. You know reality's really setting in, bros. We are seniors. We are graduating this year. And it feels good to say we finally made it. But I want to let y'all know one thing. Just because we are all going our separate ways don't mean things will ever have to change. Yeah, it's automatic, baby. And y'all my brothers till the end This is a new beginning We are starting another chapter We going different ways But this is won't be a factor We ain't stressing it man We all right Everyone will keep in touch Because we all tight We been brothers since the start And we'll be brothers till the end We got a strong bond between us I see us more than friends We getting farther in life We taking more steps And we share a bunch of memories We'll never forget We a positive group of guys Full of good energy They say best friends cause for the best memories They all came into my life Life at the right time and they ain't temporary friends They'll be here for a lifetime I'm so blessed to have these type of friends The type you cherish forever The friendships that never end If you can't tell all of my boys believe in my dream Teamwork makes the dream work That's why I call them my team We all from different mothers But treat each other like brothers I'm loving my crew forever I never go find another I see all y'all more than friends Cause y'all my brothers till the end I said we all from different mothers But treat each other like brothers I'm loving my crew forever I never go find another I see all y'all more than friends Cause y'all my brothers till the end And you know that I'm loyal to my team And I hope that y'all believe that They keep me motivated Nothing will come between that We all from different mothers But treat each other like brothers I'm loving my crew forever I never go find another Malik, PJ and Jason The band, Manny and Mark Just know that we got a bind And no one could break apart Not to forget Jonah Jared, Justin and Steve I know that y'all by my side And never planning to leave I know we all get into fights And at some points disagree But there's nothing wrong with that Cause that's how brothers should be If one of y'all ever fall 
small, then I'm picking your back up. We seniors this year, we'll be throwing our caps up. A lot of my boys got their plan mapped out. They knew what they wanted and they took the right route. Starting with Steve, you really worked hard, my brother at LVC. You gon' really be a star, my brother. And for Malik, you got a gift that should never be dismissed. I can really say a lot, but I'ma leave it with this. Go to PSU and really call some ruckus. You and I both know you gon' be getting buckets. And PJ, keep it up, you gon' take over with business. I vouch for you with that, cause I know I'ma be a witness. And speaking of business, Mark, you gon' do your thing at Pitt. Business will be a major, you and I know this. Just remember, you gotta never give up. And you got something good, so I wish you the best of luck. This next one's for my brother Manny, you about to shine. Mercy hurts you smart, and it will soon be a time. You just gotta work hard this summer to improve yourself. So that when you hit the field, you will prove yourself. And to my brother Nate, always acting crazy. I hope you enjoy being one with the Navy. Cayenne, Bo, you really about to snap, cause you only getting better. I'm proud that you wanna take the skills to Westchester. Everything's my brothers do, they do it out of sight. And Jay's PSU, about to really treat you right. And Joe, now I miss you, brother. We haven't talked in a minute, but I know you in DC, and you out there trying to get it. Well, you gotta keep grinding, I'ma see you back home. Do your thing at Mercy Hurts, you won't do it alone, cause you got many by your side, so be helping you through. In the chair, bro, I know you'll have a blast at KU. My brother Matt, you never quit, you never threw in the towel, son. Now you about to be balling in town, so when opportunities come, my brothers, they take that. And Aaron, good luck, why you studying HVAC? I keep a small circle, it's just me and my team. My brother John, good luck in the big city of dreams. Every one of my boys ain't just friends. They family to me and they'll be brothers till the end. I said every one of my boys ain't just friends. They family to me and we'll be brothers till the end. It's automatic, baby. We all from different mothers, but treat each other like brothers. I'm loving my crew forever, I never go find another. I see all y'all more than friends Cause y'all my brothers till the end I said we all from different mothers But treat each other like brothers I'm loving my crew forever I never go find another I see all y'all more than friends Cause y'all my brothers till the end And you know that What are your plans for spring break? Um, my plans for spring break are probably going to the beach, hanging out with friends, just the generics, just the generic stuff to do on spring break. Have you any? Have you had any conflicts with your teachers? I haven't really had any conflicts. The only thing was that my teacher, my English teacher, left second semester, so it was a little different to like switch over teachers halfway through the year um, from the beginning of the year have you lost or gained any friends um, I probably gained friends mostly just because of like new classes and people in them what is if you could switch out any of any class right now which class would it be and why um, i probably switch out of probability and statistics just because that class is just, it's gotten really hard recently in the second semester, so I'd probably switch out of there. What is the oldest phone on your phone? Who is it, or what is it, and why have you kept it? Um, the oldest photo on my phone is me playing lacrosse back in like fifth or sixth grade and I've kept it I'm not really sure why I've kept it but looking back it definitely changed invite your favorite person to be in your video diary explain why they are your favorite um I didn't invite my favorite person but I invited Clayton but uh, as you can see I got a he declined my invite so he will not be joining and he's not he's not my favorite really because we've, I invited him just because we've been playing lacrosse together since like fourth or fifth grade 
What are your thoughts on the presidential election and the final results? Mm, I don't really... The presidential elections, I didn't really care too much. I didn't like either of the final two candidates. So, I don't really care too much for that. What is your biggest regret so far this year? Mm, my biggest regret is probably not not staying on task for my senior year what do I have to have done better if you died right now how would you want to be remembered if I died I'd want to be remembered as a good person and a person as people always liked if you could describe your school year in one song what would it be um, if I describe my school year in a song, it'd probably be a song about, like, probably just getting to the end since it's my senior year this year. Um, <clears throat> what is the best movie from this year? That we saw in class. Um, probably Forrest Gump. Where will you be in 10 years? Um, I hope I'll be finished with college and got a job with my degree. Um, what is your best memory of the last year? Mm. It'll probably be graduating once it happens. Who is the most memorable teacher in, that you have ever had and why? Um, it's probably Scahill because it lets me skip in there all the time. And, uh, um, and all we do is have to watch movies. Okay, it is currently 4.51 on Tuesday, September 13th of 2016. I'm making this for my car, obviously. Um, school so far ooh, is um, pretty great. Um, but it's also only been like a month, so who knows. Um, my favorite song right now... I don't know. I like a lot of songs. I really don't have like a favorite one. Um, just kidding. I've been really into Christmas music lately because we're starting to do, um, like, recordings and stuff. And we have auditions today for Candlelight at Disney. Um, in the first few weeks of school, hmm, something that I really remember, um, probably be, um, one of our drum tech instructors, Sunny, bringing in, um, like, the big umbrella hats. And, um, for the baseline, and they all wear them, and then they also wear these, like, really bright pink polka dotted shorts, and two of the dudes on there. One of them is, like, heavy set, and the other one's, like, really scrawny, so it looks really funny that guys are wearing umbrella hats and pink shorts. Um, something I'm most looking forward to, um, I'm looking forward to this weekend, because I'm auditioning for... A percussion core and then on October the 1st I'm also auditioning again and going to clinics so I kind of hope I make that but at the same time I don't because I know I'll be really busy on weekends but um, either way I'll be happy um, the hardest thing about this year I would say is probably stressing a lot but I don't know I think I'm doing pretty good in school I only have like a couple B's so I don't think it'll be super stressful, but um, I'm still like uneasy. I don't know how I feel about graduating. I don't know if I want, like, if I'm ready for it or not, but it'll happen. Um, advice I would give myself right now to get through this year would be um, keeping up with my grades like I have been and like not procrastinating and like 
being really nitpicky about grades and like making the best impression and um, never giving up like your personal freedoms to make other people happy I guess I don't know um, one thing that really made me laugh the past few weeks exactly what happened it would probably be um, we have a drumline group chat that involves like our tech and let me see I have the conversation um, a lot of it is mainly just like like this one kid always puts like a comment that nobody cares about in the group chat and we all like we all kind of like gang up on him, which is kind of mean, but it's still pretty funny. But, long story short, he gives us these memes that make like no sense or like completely irrelevant. Everyone just like, blows up on him. Okay, so probably the funniest thing is yesterday our jokes were just like, um, we were kind of like telling this one kid off and then, um, James always hates whenever we, like, start talking for a really long time in group chats because then he'll get his phone back and it'll be, like, over 80 notifications. And then this one kid sends a meme and goes, when you know James is waiting to blow up and it was, like, a Spongebob meme and it was kind of stupid. But, yeah. So that was going to be my first video diary. Shout out to Skay Hill because I shut off my auto adjust. And now, now you can hear me, I hope. And now it's thundering outside, so. Yep, this is my first of, I guess, many video diaries.
like to be done with my AA, maybe moved out with my sister um, after I complete my AA at uh, Valencia and be at UCF and be done with most of my education by then. And then... Hey, Video Diary. Um, you're 17. It's your senior year in high school. I don't know how old you are watching this. You could be two years from now in college. It could be when you're 30 and have kids and a husband. I don't know. I hope you enjoy this video. It's just heads up. It's just going to be a bunch of videos, like a compilation, like just mixed up, mashed together. Um, videos that I took on my phone, videos in the car, videos of the DNN classroom where we just have random conversations, and probably a few concert vids in there somewhere. Um, I hope you enjoy. It was just my senior year that you'll be seeing this, and you had a pretty red senior year, and you had a great summer and a great spring break, so you'll see all of it, trust me. Um, I hope you enjoy the video. My name is Lauren Southston, and I'm addicted to smoking. Smarties. It's just, it's, it's an overwhelming feeling, of, you know? Sugar, it's like sugar. I have about 20 in here, it'll last me about eight hours, you know, and then I have to go back to the dollar store. When we found out, we, we tried to get her help, but nothing's, nothing's worked. We don't know how to stop her. I just, I can't stop no, no. her. <laughs> Retro gay interest bun b u n t i n. What else, what else the word? You have to click on it. Oh. But bunting, bunting flag bunting download bunting flags print. download print. <laughs> Sheet party decorative vintage. Look, it's only, one, it's only one twenty five. <laughs> what a steal! <laughs> What's a buntage? I'm not. Ooh, I'm about to dive in. Whoa! <laughs> She's doing circles. <laughs> when Bay plays with your hair. <laughs> stop, but she don't even stop. No, hurry up, hurry up. I want to yell at her. <laughs> Go. Where? Get closer. <laughs> there was a stop sign. Too many dicks in your life. <laughs> yeah, I know they wanna take my place. I can tell I love is fake. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so they're 
trying to get the ball out of the water. <laughs> I swear, if any of them fall in it, I am not taking them in my car. <laughs> there you go. Oh my god. <laughs> he got in there. Ass. Ass. <laughs> the fuck did you just say? I said it's gonna be dry. Yeah, 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 no. Oh, shot, 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 Thank you, Lissa. <laughs> Jenna, you're terrible. <laughs> All these people inside the stage. <laughs> Fabian, Fabian, man. How my ass taste. <laughs> Smoke of 2015. First smoke of 2017. Because I said 2015 in the last one. Oh, I'm going to like two weeks longer. DeRozan, if I shoot it, it goes in. I'm in Cali, this coast and get him. So I think he coasters. I got to. Oh, that's You were literally the missing link. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys. So cool. One. Lessons on how to roll. <laughs> by by Ling Ling. Ling. By, by your girl Ling Ling. She just don't do nails. She do nails. I'm gonna go down slowly. Okay. And you're gonna keep breaking it. And break it. <laughs> Look at that shit. <laughs> What the f- oh, I, I thought it was gonna like that fish over here. Hey, you gotta like it as you jump drop. I thought you were about to do a Oh, yo! Oh, shit. <laughs> oh.
My most memorable moment from the DNN class was probably when I got dared to tell Scahill that I was pregnant. And it ended up being like I go in his office trying to prank him and it ended up being like this life moral story about like how I'm so much better than that and like it just ended up being like a life lesson instead of like a prank and I just love Scahill so much for that. <laughs> um, the funniest thing that happened from the DNN class was probably, I wasn't there for it, but it was when Alyssa got super duper high and was like crawling on her knees and her hands like a dog. Like, I just seen videos and it just seems like amazing. Um, one thing that Skahill did or said in the DNN class was obviously, you need to listen. That, he's been doing that since my freshman year. But also, um, his major comeback is I bet you don't even know how to spell that. And we got into a conversation about how when we get older, we're going to steal that. Like, we're going to steal his jokes that we make. So maybe if you're watching this now and you use his catchphrases and shit like that. Um, who do you want to thank? I want to thank, obviously, Scahill. I remember the first day I walked in this high school for the very first time and... I didn't even know where this class was. I had I ran into him in the media center. We have like a talk and he's like, yeah, like I can't wait to have you in my class. And that just blossomed from there, like freshman to senior year. And it's like insane how far I've come and that I'm actually like going to do this as my profession. I'm going to college for it. So I think that's pretty rad. Um, but yeah, shout out to Scahill. He's an awesome teacher and he's one of the best people I've ever met in, out of Popka High School. And how do you want us to remember you? Um, I don't really know. Like, I guess people can make my their own assumption about, like, who I am as a person. But I just want people to remember me as hopefully a helpful person. I try to be, like, a peacemaker in the class. Just try to make everyone chill out. And I'm hoping I'm known for, like, good music taste in my openings because... I make some pretty rad openings and use some pretty good music for it over the years, so I hope that's the way I'm remembered. And that's all for my video diary. I hope you enjoy this however old you are. I'm 17 right now, about to turn 18, so however old you are when you watch this, I hope you're not like cringing right now about the way I talk or the way I dress or something. Um, you did go to Super Duper Kyle's concert last night. And you rock in his tour shirt. But um, you had a lot of fun your senior year. You did a lot of stuff. And I wouldn't want it any other way. So I hope that you enjoyed watching this.